How's everybody doing? You feeling good this morning? This afternoon? Top of the morning to you. You got your teas and biscuits? Right. What's going on everybody? Jay Hayes here since I'm be doing a review on a device that I was sent for the purposes of the review. This company has been around for a long time. One of those little small companies that we always talk about, something like Asvape. This is Advocan. They are known for primarily their Manta RTA. When the Manta came out, a lot of people made a huge deal about it just because it was that much closer to the Reload RTA. In fact, if you have the bubble tank for the Manta, you're able to use that on the Reload. Uh, there was something else that they made, but I can't, I can't remember what it was. However, they sent me three of these. There was a post the other day on Instagram where someone had showed a squawk mod in a little spritzer bottle. I had no idea what it was till I got this package. I don't want to ruin it. All I'm going to say to you is this, is it's really, really simple. This has to be, hands down, one of the cheapest feeling box mods I've ever felt ever, period, ever. There's not a whole lot going on. It does come with everything. Comes with squonk bottles, the squonker, and the dripper. This is one of the things that I feel hurt these smaller companies more than if it was a bigger company that make this. For instance, if a bigger company's already out there, they've already made solid products, everybody knows that company for what they've made. So if they make a shit product like Sig has done, they can still recuperate who they are and regain their speed back up just because of their past history. When a smaller company makes this, it almost goes under the radar because there's not a lot of people that are gonna review this. I, I can tell you right now, I don't see many people reviewing this just based off of how cheap this feels. I don't want to ruin it. There's not a name anywhere on the box, except for CP Squonk Kit. But CP, I think, is their logo for Charlie's penis. Let's flip it. I'm assuming that this is just referencing like starter kit or squonk kit or box mod. I don't think that is the name of it, but if it is, so be it. On the bottom, this product contains nicotine, which is a highly addictive substance. For anybody wondering, this is a warning that needs to be on all devices that are vape related. Got their social medias up there, batch. On the flip side of that, what the package includes. Go ahead and freeze frame that for you real quick. On the other side of the box, what we have is a UPC down here and a scratch and sniff. This is gonna be vanilla, berry, cherry, walnut, wood, flavor and scented. Lots of stuff going on there. Just like there's a lot of stuff going on with this box. Inside the box, looks like you have a magazine here. This is actually the sleeve that houses the extra peripherals. You can use this little apparatus right here to dangle from your Christmas tree. If you're looking for an ornament to fill your tree up, that's always a good thing. It also has an extra slot. If you wanna put your extra pieces of gum in here, you could use it as a Pez dispenser. A lot of functionality outside of this little thing. Fillable bottles, which we are going to go over with this. These are very unique. Now that doesn't make it a bad thing. It doesn't make it a good thing. Definitely makes it innovative, which is what this does. Dripper down here and your box mod. So this is the crazy situation. The package that it's in, the plastic, is better material than the mod itself. This piece is better material than the mod. Inside the box, there's gonna be this piece of paper or pamphlet. It's not really much of a user manual, although it does tell you the different functionalities of some of this mod. This is not a 2700. It's going to be a mechanical squonker. Single 18650 tells you all about fire button, the battery. What's unique with this is this guy right here. That little bottle that you can't really see goes in there, and then what happens is in order for you to squonk, you pull this up and press down and it kind of squonks into the little apparatus here and then into the dripper. If you have not seen the video where I did with the, the Kanger Tech, oh, I'm gonna put a link in the corner. It's the squeeze thing that had a little perfume bottle. Sort of the same situation here. And then the notice hole. Nice. The notice hole. And then inside the box, you're also gonna get this little peripheral bag, which is gonna say Dr. Goyle. I think this is a thing for just advocates, sort of like what they got going on. Apologize for the hole in my finger. 20 gauge the other day, building a dripper, and guess what? Hey, there you are. I was wondering where that wire went. All right, there's all the stuff. I can't get it out of the bag, so I'm done. There's a spring in here. The dripper itself is a 22 millimeter dripper in height. 
This is a very, very small dripper, 28 millimeters. Drip tip on the top, dock style, has a little bit of a cut cut into it, O-ring built on the inside, so if you wanna use your own A10 drip tip for this, has that gold-plated scenario going on. I haven't seen that in a while, but now we're back at it again. Very, very, very unique situation down there. Take a look at that guy. Well, that's not a bad looking dripper now, is it? Aside from the gold, of course. You have a double O-ring situation. Let me pull up the old trusty rusty, don't get crusty. So Squonk is gonna go through the bottom here, and I'm assuming this little umbrella that they have going on stops the juice from kind of spitting up. The only problem I see with that is if you build your coil a little too low, which obviously you would wanna do in this situation, just to keep that getting airflow from both sides. But that gets in the way, and there is no way to remove that, as that is is milled directly into the positive post. But it's sort of like an umbrella, so to speak, over the squonk port. So as you press it, no matter how hard you press, it's still going to hit this and then just go to the sides. Single coil situation, really self-explanatory. You got that T-clamp jammy going on. As you unscrew this, these little T-clamps have a spring in them. And that's the purpose of the extra springs inside of the Dr. Coil bag. I'm not gonna lie to you, I think this little feature doesn't matter what it's for is nice man i think it's cool but the problem you have is if you look at the airflow you can't really go too crazy with the coil because the last thing you want it to do is touch a side of this and this over here you really want to keep those wires isolated and checking out this gauge right here this is something serious you could put one of those big ass phillips jammies in here to build the coil but you're not going to be able to because the bottom of it is going to touch this inside this little apparatus here you saw me pull out, it's got these little canisters. Let me show you how these work. So you get two of these. Now that is glass. What you're going to want to do with this is take this little section off right here, unscrew this to fill it all up, and then you have a little apparatus. But the way this works is it's kind of unique. And then this guy goes into here like so. You see that? And then you squonk. There's your notice hole. Um, not the easiest to take out. All right, to so take the bottle out, basically pull this up all the way and then kind of grab it like that and give it a good tug in. Yeah, that's a little stiff in there. Just keep that in mind. Now looking at the box itself, wow. Right off the jump, I think of cheap when I see this. We know how much I love plastic situations, but this is a little out of control. Also right here is your fire button. Let's take the door off. Double magnet situation. And then this is the inside of it. Very, 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 very cheap. The way that the fire button works is when you unscrew this all the way, you activate the firing switch. I don't know why I'm making it sound all advanced. And then to stop you from firing that, you just kind of turn it to the left and then you're not able to press the button. Not because there's a stopper, but just because you're kind of pushing against that to stop you from having any kind of throw. That doesn't mean that it still can't fire in your pocket. Just because you can't press the fire button down doesn't really do much of anything. Contact isn't horrible. That is the insides of it. I mean, you could tell it's just straight up junk. Basically, if you do order this for whatever reason, being a little too drunk or you just woke up, you're in a delusional state, Okay, when you get this, the O-ring here might fall out. Let's see what fits on the top of this. I really don't know why we need to do this, but 26 on here is not going to work. Honestly, I don't even know why you would buy this to put something else on it other than what comes with it. 25 even gives you bad overhang. Put some juice in this bottle here. Good thing is, it being a glass bottle, what's gonna happen is, well, be careful not to drop this mob. Because it's a glass bottle, it's very, very not so porous like plastic is. Meaning that no matter what you put inside of this, wash it out a couple times, you'll clean it out real easy. With plastic, you usually don't get to that scenario. So to do this, you're just gonna push this up, hold it up with your other hand like so. You're gonna put this in, then that's gonna go right into that port, and then there you go. That's it. It's that simple. Their dripper on the top of this, I'm not going to lie to you guys, uh, just be a little careful if you do pick this up. It doesn't look like it's a very sturdy situation. And what we're going to be using is an LG HB6. Positive here, negative there. It doesn't really matter how you do it. You could do it either or. But we're going to do it the way that it's displayed on there. Contact down here does not look very promising. 
Oh boy, does that make me nervous? Nervous Nelly. A regular 20 gauge. That's what we're working with. Devices like this is what scares a lot of people just because it is mech. It does feel very, very cheap. I believe the Watofo was another one that was very, very cheap feeling, or it might have been the Geek Vape Athena. One of them were really, really bad. As you can tell, the way that this works, you're not gonna have much of a suck back situation just because of the way that the bottle apparatus is. Why does it taste like pina colada? Do you like pina coladas? I'm getting caught in the rain. You guys ever need a backup singer for something, don't ever call over here. Make sure your wires are not touching anything just because it is a Mac, you wanna make sure you're Loud. Advocan squonking kit. Let's bring it on the top. Back on the top with the Advocan CP squonk kit. The whole thing is theirs except for the battery and obviously the juice. Um, let me show you some of the vapor production because that's all we care about. Now that's regular 20 gauge, seven wraps. Vapor production is there, flavor is all right, but then again, that's really dictated by the build that you're gonna put inside of this. Keep in mind that this is a mech mod and you really don't wanna build this on the higher tier. Don't build like a 0.5 or a 0.6, hoping to get really good vapor production because it's not gonna function well. That's even assuming that you're gonna go out and go buy this. Listen, I love the innovation, not saying I like this style of innovation, I just like when things are different. And the pumper by Kangertech, that's what I think it's called, or squeezer, or easy squeeze, easy, easy pump, easy pumper, the pump squeeze. The thing by Kangertech that has the perfume bottle. Drip easy. Drip easy. All right. Um, yeah, that is what this kind of reminds me of. That got a lot of shit though, because it came with that big ass glass bottle, kind of looked very, 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 not futuristic, almost like the exact opposite of futuristic, which would be called retro. It having glass bottles is actually a plus to me. One of the biggest problems I have is with some squonk bottles, like the Lost Vape squonks, or even the ones from the Pulse, what happens is, is if you use a really thick juice that's full of VG, doesn't have necessarily a lot of sweetener, just a really thick VG juice, for whatever reason, when it sits inside of the bottle for a while, it's very, very difficult to get that flavor outside of that plastic. At least with this being glass, you could always pop it out, clean it out. The mod feels extremely cheap. The gold plating looks absolutely horrible. There's all these buttons and levers sticking out. I almost feel like if you push this twice, hit the fire button once, flipped it in the air, and did a handstand, it would act as if there was hydraulics in the mod. Even the inside of this is cheap, but the worst part about this whole situation is not the materials, is not the dripper, is not the squonk, is the price point. For what this is, it's extremely too high. I feel that this thing is worth no more than 20, 30 bucks, but 20, 30 dollars is even cheaper than wholesale. I think this thing ranges about 35 bucks and I don't ever talk about prices. I may say whether or not something's worth it for the price point like I am now, but this, is absurd. It's entirely too high for what it is. It's not even like the ergonomics are bad. It's just a plastic box with a single 18650 with a weird apparatus for squonking, which keep in mind does not squonk back. A dripper isn't bad, but it's a 22. How would I rate this device? Woo! Almost fell out of my hands. You saw that, right? Oh, buddy. Boom. Three definitely cannot even go four or five. I wouldn't recommend this to anybody. It's a shame too, because Advocate did so well with their Manta RTA and then they come out with this. Not only am I not recommending it, 
I'm recommending that Advocate go back to the board and try to retort this situation and build it a little bit better. I understand you have to go certain avenues to make things cheaper, but this is a little too cheap. The gold plating is a little too tacky. The locking mechanism on this isn't bad. It's nice that it has a locking mechanism, but it doesn't lock in place when you unscrew it all the way to fire it, if that makes sense. And when you screw it down, it's a little bit hard to grab. It's not difficult. For someone that's just picking this up, if they don't know any better, they're gonna hold it just like I am right now, thinking that this is just like a placeholder for your fit. That was weird. I felt like I got shocked. And I had that placebo, that's not the right word, hypochondriac. That's when you always think you're sick when you're not. That's not it either. Most people that would pick this up would feel that this is the fire button right here. Because what's the, the ledge? Everything just kind of insinuates that. Yeah, I don't recommend this. I, I mean, even a three is difficult for me to give this. But I do like that it is glass bottles. A lot of people will not like that because if you drop this and that glass hits the ground, it's going to shatter. And then finding bottles for this? Ooh, and you can't use your own bottles. You're stuck with that apparatus because it needs to have a pump situation inside of it. This isn't the first company to do it, but hopefully it is the last. Even if you're on a budget, it's not a solid device for what it is. There, there's not even much that's good with it aside from the glass bottle and the dripper. That's it. And I've kept it real. Have you? Check this out.